Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see few of the interesting queries which can be used to analyze match and merge process. So let's start today's session. Why we need these queries? So if you write those queries and keep handy, it will be very easy and convenient to analyze the match and merge process. So it will be very handy to use for going forward projects or going forward activities. These queries will help you to give the broader view about your the match results. So what are the candidates for the match? What are the match rules it got executed? So all that view you can get from these queries. Another useful usefulness of these queries is nothing but sharing these queries with the data steward. But for this, uh, we should know the data steward must be a technical person so that they can understand the queries and just execute those queries for getting or for fetching the data from the match and the corresponding metadata tables. So these are the basic needs we need to write these queries. In my few projects, when we did a kind of project, data steward asked, do you have any sample queries so that they can refer to review the match results. Of course, we t tell them we have the match table, history ma merge table, they can refer that. But they're actually looking for the queries to simplify their efforts or instead of putting the efforts again and again. They normally also ask the question, do you have any queries from your previous project with your previous experience? What are the queries you created? So these are the some questions you will face and it's good to have this query handy. So whenever they ask, uh, we can provide these queries to this data store or business people. So, so let's start and see a very first query. This query particularly targeted for the match for the Atom Merge records. So if you have the Atom Merge rules configured in your project, how to analyze the match result for the Atom Merge. In order to get the result the query is prepared like this yes it looks complicated but it is not if you thought if you go and look it properly it is not a difficult query to write so let's see for the from class in the from class we can see the c underscore party treated as a p1 or we have the allies p1 then we have c party address as a, a1 c party that is the same c party or you can say cbo party whatever your base object name C party as a P2. Also, we have the C party address as A2. Then we have the identity attributes such as C state license as a L1, C state license as a L2. Then we are referring to more metadata table. One is C party match as a M, C repos match rule as a R. So what we are Get, what are the tables we are looking we are looking for the business table also we are looking for the metadata table once we got these tables means all the table you can consider all other business table as well if you are going to fade the, all this record but for now we are taking party address and license as attributes and we are taking the match and the match rule as a repos table then on the where clause if you notice we are first doing the p id object equal to a1.partyid foreign key and it is plus that is means what are the additional record so the raw id object from the party p1 we are concatenating with the address a1 party p1 raw id object also concatenated with license party id foreign key and additional records the app m dot royalty object that is match table royalty object we are equating that with the p1 dot royalty object that is means winner records then we have the p2 dot royalty object equal to a2 dot party id that is means we are concatenating with the address relationship on the same line we have the p2 dot royalty object l2 dot party id and this is very important condition m dot row id object matched equal to p2 dot royalty object so what we are doing here in like line 3 in the where clause it's a royalty object match match table royalty object is matched with the p1 royalty object and 
the current line that is m dot roy object match is matched with the p2 dot roy object this is very important these are two very important conditions so which will give us a proper result then we are doing the m dot roy match rule equal to r dot roy match rule to get the actual match rule name instead of match rule roy then we have the m dot auto merge indicator one r dot rule number one means if you are configuring the if you are just fetching for the rule number one and we are just ordering from the full name so once we define these conditions we can fetch any attributes within that table for example from p1 dot row id object if you see select r dot row num rule number as a match rule p1 dot row id object as a from row id p1 dot full name from full name etc and we are pulling the all the corresponding records in this query so this is the query which will give us all the record which are in the match table and eligible for the auto merge so that uh, they can if you give this query to business people they will analyze the query uh, analyze the result and get back to us whether those candidates are correct for the auto merge or not then we have the query for the manual merge this is little tedious or the longer query so i would suggest you please go through because this query is um, spread across two slides so let's target on the first slide let's start with the where clause in the where clause oh sorry start with the from clause in the from clause we have the party p1 address a1 party p2 address a2 also license l1 and license l2 as well as we have the match and the match rule tables as we have in the previous query as well in this queries we are going to consider these tables in the where clause clause we have the similar kind of where clause p1 dot row id object equal to a1 dot row id uh, a1 dot party id p1 dot row id object equal to l1 dot party id m dot row id object equal to p1 dot row id object it is the same as the previous query however along with that we have the additional uh, where clause also p2 dot row id object equal to a2 dot party id p2 dot row id object equal to l2 party id m dot row id object match equal to p2 row id object we, you might have noticed this is the same query similar to previous one but there are a couple of changes in upcoming where clause the m dot row id object uh, row id match rule equal to r dot row id match rule then you have the auto merge indicator equal to 0 that means no these not these are not part of the auto merge but these are for the manual merge and not exist so we have to write this not exist queries not exist select or the object from c party match as a m m dot or the object equal to p1 dot or the object and atom merge indicator one also we have to write not exist select or the object from c party match m equal to m dot or the object equal to p2 dot or the object so p1 and p2 are important when to consider and we have to roll the rule number what are the rule number you want to consider and the we can order by the any column which we are selecting so this is very very important very clause the rest of thing the selecting the column what are the columns you want to present to the business such as p1 dot row id object or r dot rule number p1 dot full name so you can select n number of columns from this selected tables so this is one of the query where the data steward will be more interested because they have to review the record and if the records are presented in a good manner in the result it is very easy for the data steward to review the record instead of jumping into multiple tables and looking with the joining this table instead of doing that we can provide this query to this data stewards then the next query is record not match with anything that means they are not part of the manual match or not part of the auto merge match they are just standalone record so how can we fetch those record in order to fetch this record what we need we need only two table if you see in the from class we are using c party as a p1 c party address as a a1 we have to write a clause a1 dot party id pk that is means from the address foreign key equal to p1 dot row id object that is row id object of party table and not exist select m dot object from m 
from C party match M where M rho ID object equal to P1 dot rho ID object. We also have to check it does not exit uh, exist uh, uh, M, M rho ID object from C party match where the rho ID match. So earlier case we just checked rho ID object. Now it's, we are going to check rho ID object match. It's not equal to P1 dot rho ID object. So this whatever the record will be fetched those will be nothing those are present in the party as well as in the address table but they did not found in the match table so this is very straightforward queries you can select any column such as p1 dot already object p1 dot full name a1 dot address line 1 a1 dot city a1 dot any other column or p1 dot bo class etc so these are the basic queries if you are looking for more queries just let me know i can post those queries for your help or understanding thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about mdm and other relevant technology thank you and have a nice time